Hello and welcome back to Man V Film. It is another mail day video. I have got this uh, pass package here, which has been sent from Joel. Surprise, motherfucker! Um, a friend from Canada who watches the channel. He very kindly has sent me a bunch of well stuff that I can't get here. So I'm just going to dive into this now. Um, I've got, I, I think I know what two items are in here already, so I'm just going to quickly speed this up because who wants to look like a fool struggling to get into a cardboard box in real time? That was easy. Just opened up like a dream. Absolutely no problem at all. Um, it's super well packaged and it's all bubble wrap. Yes! Yes! Love bubble wrap. Um, because of, there's there. Because I repurpose it, you know, pass it on to other people. It's, it's great for packaging stuff. So we're going to um, dive into these movies and see. Oh, yes, I did. I did know about this one, Joel did tell me about this. Um, Joel and I have lots of conversations about Italian movies, we, we, we really love them and he has been telling me for the longest while that I absolutely must see Sergio Martino's American Rickshaw. It's so awful, it's awful. Never trust a whore. <laughs> but it's supposed to be really good to watch. Now, I know nothing about this one, but um, it's from Cauldron. I haven't got any Cauldron releases. It is uh, Sergio Martino. And I don't need to know anything else. That is... Oh, Donald Pleasance. Wow. Sold. Um, I don't know a thing about it. I don't know the plot. I don't know if, it, if it's horror, slasher, whatever. I'm just going to go and check it out and see what's there. <laughs> Next up we have, oh yes, wow. It is um, one of the titles I did know about uh, that was coming and a movie that I don't really know very much about. Joel has said that this is great. It is the 4K of Perita Durango. I believe this is a character that's in something wild. Um, which I think I've got sitting in my other room at a Criterion Disc so that is one that I'm well you can let me know do I need to watch something well before this is it, is it something I should go into without seeing that without any kind of baggage whatsoever I don't know a thing about it I do love this kind of bit in the background I have one Severin title already I'm really curious to see how they handle the 4Ks though <laughs> Um, another title that I knew Joe was getting me because he couldn't keep his uh, couldn't keep his he, he quiet about this one. And I, again, I know nothing about this other than the great word of mouth that it's getting. And I am super excited to check out Siege, a Canadian movie, and um, it's a kind of back artwork of it. it. Says one, totally unique and totally disturbing. Few Canadian films are as unrelentingly, unrelentingly gripping as Siege. A police strike paralyzes an entire city and unleashes a violent new order. <laughs> Suddenly, every citizen must arm and protect themselves. It's just getting such good word of mouth. I, I have to check it out. Another um, one. Next up, we have got uh, another Cauldron release, which is Beyond Terror. Now, this is one that I know zero, like literally zero about. Uh, I know nothing. No, 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 no. Nothing. No, no, forget that. No, I forget everything. I don't know any of the names involved. 
I don't know what the movie's about. Um, it's another Cauldron release and well, Joel has assured me that all of these movies are within my wheelhouse and things that I will love. Which brings me on to the last one. Oh yeah, 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 another Cauldron release. And uh, from zero Cauldron releases to three. And this is one that uh, Joel, Joel has been raving about for the longest while and that is The Crimes of the Black Cat. He says it's a really skeezy, uh, sleazy, giallo movie. Um, and to be honest, this, this is a great pile of movies. Like, I literally don't know where to start on, on this bunch. American Rickshaw, Perita Durango, Siege, Beyond Terror and The Crimes of the Black Cat. I've heard good things. That, like I said, the only one that... Can I say I've heard good things about American Rickshaw? I've heard things about American Rickshaw. <laughs> uh, Beyond Terror, I, I know the least out of all of these. I'm super excited to get into them. Um, especially Siege. Um, and there's a, a little envelope in here as well. Uh, let's see what it says. To the Graham man. To the Graham. Ah, oh, and he forgot to add any. Joel. Right, let's oh, unpackage this. There. Um, from your secret friend who haven't a clue, let's play a game, just me and you. Do we know what that's from? I mean, you should know that one. Let's let's play a guessing game in the comment box below. Uh, all right, Graham, I've got my. Well, he gives it away there. Um, all kidding aside, I adore your channel, and I'm happy that we've become pals over the last year. All the best to you and your family. Maybe in good health and spirits. Enjoy the movies and I hope you like the Canadian film in the pile. It's a doozy from Joel. Joel, thank you very much. I really appreciate uh, these movies. I just don't know where to start. It's my day off. I was planning on doing some YouTube work, making some films, uh, videos and that for the channel. But to be honest, I, I, I want to go watch movies. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Uh, I'd love to know if you've seen any of these, your opinion in any of these movies and I will see you next time on Man V Film.